Well, we're the School of Rock and Media, uh, and we are a social enterprise in uh, Little Germany, Bradford. Uh, and the School of Rock and Media is a fully working recording and musical studio. Um, we're always fully inclusive to everybody, uh, people from learning disabilities, from young people. Um, we are a professional arts, we do films and media production, uh, and we do work with people like ITV, BBC, and Channel 4 that are actually coming into Leeds at the moment, so we're in discussions with Channel 4 to do some stuff with them, aren't we, John? Um, and the studio welcomes all genres of music from all walks of life in this true diverse city that we've got. Uh, we offer a unique <laughs> environment where the space is, is organic. We offer a space where people can come together very organically and share projects. And those projects are as unique as those individuals. Uh, we're dedicated to helping people achieve their full potential using music as a vehicle uh, of, of expression. Uh, we, we started in a garage um, in Mapper, just off of Manchester Road. Uh, Tony comes from a, 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 a production management background. Uh, I'm a youth and community development worker, but we're both musicians. So we wanted to give something back, didn't we? And we, we met purely by accident. Yeah, we did actually, yeah. And there's your place, Tony. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We'll just uh, shout. We knew that many people couldn't really afford or yeah. probably access mainstream um, instruments or learn to play drums or anything like that. Um, myself and John are both from working class families. Yeah. And we were both brought up on housing estates. Yeah. And to this day, we still do live on housing estates. So basically it started really with two youth sessions at MAPA. Yeah. And in the first week, 70 Slovakian Eastern European yeah. kids yeah. turned up and we went, wow, <laughs> what are we yeah. going to do here? Yeah. We, we were just beating them back at the Because we just took it? over. We went out of the garage and we thought, we can't get 17 here. No, no. So we took over the old youth club. Yeah. Uh, and that's where really we started back in 2012. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fast forward now to 2019. And we now have an average footfall here in Bradford of about 500 plus people uh, per week in the studio with more people accessing our services all the time. Um, yeah, we've developed uh, proud partnerships, haven't we? Tony? Yeah, with people like Bradford Council, Leeds Council, Oasis Academy, Bradford College, just to name a few. And it's growing and growing. And Immy and Immy now. Oh, and Immy as yeah, well. Yeah, cheers, man. Yeah so, so, yeah, so we also provide uh, professional PA services to, uh, to, to, to major companies. That was... <laughs> So, who is that there? We, we, we'll find you. Are we getting uh, echoed? No, we, we, uh, yeah. <laughs> getting echoed, mate. Uh, major providers like Brad Factor, more recently the Shuffle Shuffle, Shuffle Festival. Uh, we've got clients such as the Nice and Sleazy Festival, uh, Bingley Music Festival, mm. Rebellion Festival, Hard Drive Festival. Yeah, so we, uh, we've so worked we've with some really big bands that have supported what we do and our ethos and what we do, especially because we've got a quiet, we've got, well, you're probably the only one in Yorkshire with my stitches, that we've got seven learned disability bands yeah. that are accessing mainstream festivals now. And in our mainstream festivals, we never heard of in them days. And now they're taking on board about everybody's got the ability to rock. Yeah, and two of the bands have toured the UK and had write-ups in Kerrang, Enemy, Louder, 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 louder than, than War. Yeah. And I always say, they've done it themselves. We've just been there to support them to get them up on that stage. Yeah. And the last time they performed was at a punk festival hence me being a punk rocker, <laughs> um, to nearly just short of a thousand people yeah, when they're on stage and they sold out of merch, sold out of CDs, sold out of everything, got write-ups everywhere. Yeah. And they've got the recognition of being an artist and that's the key thing that me and John want to look at. They are musicians yeah. in their own right. And some of the big bands that we've worked with, like Sham 69, The Beat, yeah. The Selector, the Specials, the Specials, Roddy Ray out of The Specials come up yeah. to us and said one day, keep doing this because we want more musicians like this because yeah. as i say everybody's got the ability to rock absolutely and we've got even you know we we work in the professional music industry with people like george ezra uh, leona lewis she's on our website she's very cool i think she's near lister yeah, definitely near lister yeah i think she's near lister um you know so we've um, we've got basically as, now as a company we've got over 40 products ranging from recording rehearsal video editing to education social work all in the education, PA, PA higher, uh, to, name, <laughs> to, to name a few. Um, Until it's our first talk at a TED, can't you? It's our first TED talk. Uh, but, but, all right, while we're here, why, why are we here? We are social entrepreneurs at heart, and we pride ourselves in paying forward our skills, our know-how and resources to further benefit everyone in our, in our community. Uh, paying it forward, what, what does that mean, and how does that stack up? 
social capital. We feel that social capital provides the glue that facilitates cooperation. And all you are here, this is brilliant, and we don't see this in Bradford. This is really, really cool. Because we find that it's a social glue, that, that a cooperation exchange, and more importantly, innovation. And, and Bradford's got so much potential, and there's so many people doing some really, really great work out there. But we never get to talk about it together, and I think a we room like this is fantastic. I think, yeah. you know, more social enterprises in Bradford, instead of be standing alone, work together, we're starting to link social enterprises in together, where yeah. we can all talk together, we can show our... Show, show our statistics, what we're doing, our data, what we're doing. You know, there's some small and some wonderful social enterprises in Bradford, yes. you know, and we do get the privilege to work with quite a lot of them now. You know, we're 10 years into our journey, you know, and people say to me, what do you mean about reinvestment, Tony and John? Well, investment's about spaces. It's about equipment. And more important, the art of success is people, because people are investment. Absolutely, Ab absolutely. You know, the Bradford's a very exciting place to, to, to live and work. And we get this right, we form these partnerships well. Bradford will be the next big thing uh, in, 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 in transition name and transition in nature. You know, I used to think, and, and quite recently we've, you know, we've seen politics and, and our, our democracy sort of fall apart at the seams. Mm -hmm. And I used to believe that politics was the power of possible. But I think I'm wrong. I think people are the power of possible. I, I truly do, and I think it's people that are the, the, the future, and I, I, do, I do think we've had a lot of talkers talking about what, what's next, what is plan B? We've all said, what's plan B? What is plan B? We are plan B. We are plan B. <laughs> we, we are plan B, B. that's why we, we are, are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, plan B are not <laughs> performing, by the way. Yeah. I tried to get Oh, we're definitely not performing today, no. You, you know, um, you know so, so yeah, so that's all. So, so we, have, we have learned that people are the power of possible, and without people, there's no business. Without people, our economy is a sociological imagination, a social construct that we create. We create these things. Mm -hmm. You often hear people say, oh, well, the World Bank, we owe the World Bank a trillion pounds. Who's that, Jupiter? <laughs> Who, who's the World Bank? Who are these people? We, we are the people. It is us that make these decisions. We, and we can work together to, to, to develop innovative, uh, innovative uh, services that not only can run a company, it can run a country, it can run a world. Mm -hmm. We're the imagination. It's our imagination. Everything we fashion, everything comes out of our minds and our imaginations. It's not some machine somewhere in a corner that's chur churning ideas up. Um, Them robots were good, though. Those robots, yeah. yeah they were robots, brilliant. Robots uh, building to, robots. I need to speak to that Professor Mark because I want one of them. Well, I was a bit worried because I watched that Battlestar Galactic. That was just fantastic. Sort of you know, I, want, I want to start racing them. You know. But, I mean, I think our business is the people and people's yeah. our business. And Absolutely. I think that just sums a lot of it up, doesn't it, it John? It does. Now, now the one thing that I really need to do, my daughter, she's in the 30s and that's like a kid. She often tells me that, oh, Dad, Pixar, it didn't happen. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to take a really big selfie, if you don't mind. Yeah, because she Not won't believe me. But we're, we're going to be here much of the day, so come and talk to us. We've got flyers. Uh, we're definitely here for the free food. Yeah, <laughs> there better, better be food. So, <laughs> so hang on, so you grab Mike and uh, Go we're, we're going to have a I'm going to go to a selfie. Get your glasses on. Oh, God. Is that Apple? Thank you for listening to us, guys. We're School of Rock and Media Limited in Bradford. <laughs>